Hello everybody, Azure Time here, and today we are going to be reviewing a movie called Renfield, uh, which is a, basically a Dracula movie, and this is a comedy horror movie that was released uh, not, not that long ago in April, and I don't think this movie is playing my, my, on my theaters, you know, so I, I decided to watch it at home, you know, because it was released uh, digitally, you know, um, and yeah, the movie starred Nicolas Cage as Dracula, you know, and Nicholas Holt as Renfield, uh, sorry, Renfield, not Redfield, <laughs> Renfield, um, his servant. And I think this movie is, uh, I think the director Chris McKay kind of like described this movie as a quasi sequel to the original Dracula. And yeah, I, I could see that uh, just a tiny bit, you know, like instead of like Dracula dying in the original movie, Dracula survived until the, mod the modern day, the modern society, basically. And I think it's a fun idea to have. Um, and yeah, this movie, I think Nicholas Holt as uh, Renfield does a great job, you know, because this movie is about him. Uh, Renfield tried to basically uh stand up to dracula because like all this time he always served his master dracula you know and he you know pretty much when he he was like uh, in the modern day he wants to uh you know be himself you know be his own person like not exactly serving dracula for the entire time or like killing people for dracula you know like he doesn't want to do that anymore and he always attend this like uh i guess meeting you can say that you know where there's a bunch of people who you know, like basically a self help, uh, self help meeting. You know, where there's a bunch of people just trying to get out of the toxic relationship. You know, and which is what Renfield is having with Dracula. And I think that's a really fun idea to have. You know, um, so he basically decided to choose to helping the people by killing the the people that they hate. You know, um, and they, you know, they become Dracula's food basically. But that doesn't work. Um, but eventually he make this uh, one cop play by, um, Aquafina. You know, um. Where, uh, where I think these two has a great chemistry in my opinion, like Rebecca, um, like, uh, you know, Aquafina is Aquafina, you know, like, you, you know, how she act, you know, like, she's over the top bombastic and stuff like that, and that's what she was in the movie, you know, but I feel like her personality really, uh, works that well with Nicholas Holt, uh, Renfield, you know, um, because Renfield is kind of the kind of guy who just, like, again, like, like, calm, and then just, like, try to, try to talk out of the situation, you know, um, and that's, you know, that's where he needs to stand up, you know, that's where his character arc was, you know, like, finally standing up to his own, you know, um, and I do think the comedy of, of the movie is also great, in my opinion, like, there's some times where I was, like, smiling and laughing, you know, um, and the action sequences is great, you know, I think Chris McKay does a great job uh, directing the action sequences, you know, because, again, you are dealing with Dracula and vampires and stuff like that, so, like, there's gonna be a fight from, you know, between vampires, and I think it's a great stuff, you know, and... Ben Schwartz is also in this movie. He's great He's as Tedward Lobo. Uh, you may know Ben Schwartz from, uh, you know, from Voicing Sonic. That's why, that's why I know Ben Schwartz anyway. Um, but yeah, he's great in this movie. You know, I play as the villain. I think it's really uh, fun to have, you know. Um, and, yeah, and overall, like, the entire movie is just, like, super, super fun to watch. Um, and I feel like the message for, like, you know, standing up for yourself is, I think it's great, you know. Um, like... Again, even though it's kind of like presented in this like vampire Dracula way that it's just become comedy, obviously. But I do think that's a great message for everyone that, yeah, stand, stand up for yourself, you know, make your name for yourself, you know. Um, and that's what Renfield did in this movie. And I think this is, it's, it's, it's really cool, you know. And especially there's a scene where, even though this is a comedy movie, there is like one scene that I was like super heartbroken that that stuff happened, you know, because of Dracula, you know. Like, man, like that was so unfair. And I thought that it's going to be some miracle happen that, oh, like, this going to be, like, preventing this from happening. But it happens in the halfway through the movie, and I was like, oh, damn. Like, this, that hurt. That, that really hurt, you know. That hurts for Renfield. That hurts for me. <laughs> you know, and I was like, wow, this is, it, it, it's great that the movie doesn't, like, kind of, like, hold back on that, you know. Like, it, it has some, de like, delivering some painful moment for Renfield, basically, because he, he wants to stand up uh, from Dracula, you know. Um. And there's a consequences for that, you know, and they don't shy away from that. Um, and yeah, I mean, she, sure, you could argue that if you already watched the movie, that the story wasn't like cohesive or great. And even though I agree that the story wasn't the greatest thing ever, but I do think the story is pretty solid in my opinion. Like, I don't expect that much from a movie that was promoted as a comedy horror, you know. And obviously, starring Nicolas Cage as Dracula. I haven't talked about him, but like, yeah, Nicolas Cage as Dracula. It's amazing, you know. Some might argue that he doesn't even act in this movie; he just become himself. But I do like his uh, his performance as Dracula, like his voice as Dracula. Um, and it's just like, yeah, it, it's it's great, you know. I'm not saying that he's gonna be 
um, as good as the original actor of Dracula. Yeah, again, his performance is not going to be as great as uh, Bella Lugosi as Count Dracula, you know, because he's like the first one to play Dracula and obviously going to be the most the most iconic um, actor in the movie uh, for playing Dracula. But I, I do think that he does a solid job, you know, Nick Cage does a solid job. And it was entertaining every single time he appeared on screen, you know, because again, I'm a big fan of Nicolas Cage. You know, I do think, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a movie. Maybe not all of his movies are great, you know, but I do love him as a person, you know, like I do love him as an actor as well, because he's such a nice guy. And then just like, he's cool, you know, even though like the movie might not be that great, but he's like the kind of guy who always wanted to like, um, does his best, you know, every single time. He stars in a movie, you know. I mean, the last movie that I talked with uh, Nicolas Cage is obviously Willy's Wonderland. With, uh, I think it's a fun movie, you know. Um, hopefully there's a sequel to that. But yeah, in this movie, this is like the first time Nicolas Cage appeared in like a big studio movie, you know. Because again, it, like pretty much the entire movie that uh, recent Nicolas Cage movie was just like, I don't know, like small movies basically. They're kind of like toss away, you could say that. Um, but this one is actually the first one they appear on a major studio, which is Universal, right? And... He does a great job as Dracula in my opinion. Like sure it's not gonna be as great as Bella Lugosi, obviously, but again I do think that it's not supposed to sus surpass that, obviously. You cannot surpass uh Bella Lugosi's performance as Count Dracula. You can because like he's the original and he does a great job as Dracula, you know. Um but Nicholas Kidd does a, a really great job as you know playing a really fun, uh wacky version of Dracula. You know? I think it's great. Um and yeah, mixture with that and then Nicholas Holt like uh, chemistry between and Aquafina chemistry, obviously. I think the three of them are great, you know, like they're the highlight of this movie. And I guess Ben Swartz as well. I think he does a great job as the character Ted Lobo, you know, like he kind of like a spoil, uh, a spoil vill uh, villain, you know, but I don't think it's a great stuff, you know, like I think Ben Swartz really sell that performance in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's great stuff, you know. Um, I highly recommend you guys to go check it out if you, if you haven't already, you know. I think it's already been released on uh, digital, I think, because, um, yeah, I <laughs> this movie didn't it didn't play on my uh, theater, sadly. But, yeah, I mean, it was released digi uh, digitally here in, in Indonesia already, so that's why that's I watch it, you know. Um, and, yeah, I do think that uh, this is just a fun horror movie that I think is, you guys are going to have a fun time watching the movie of course it's not gonna be like the greatest movie ever but it's not trying to be it's just it's just trying to be like a a good comedy horror movie and i think from that uh standpoint it really nails that you know because it, at times it was funny and at times that is it was heartbreaking and at times it has a great action between vampires you know <laughs> fighting scene and stuff like that i think it's a great stuff man you know um so go watch it if you haven't already you know i'm really curious to see if they're gonna do a sequel to this one um Maybe they they won because the budget for this movie is sixty five million dollars, and then the box office was like twenty four million right now. So like, yeah, I I don't think there's gonna be a sequel to this one, but they do kind of open for that in the end. So hopefully there is a one in the future, and hopefully people will I don't know watch the movie and appreciate that as a fun movie. So go watch it on theaters if if it plays on your country, you know. Um. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comment section below, guys. What do you guys think about the movie Renfield? You know, if you guys already watched it, you know, and if you guys have it again, go watch it. I, I think you guys are gonna have a fun time, you know. Um and if I have to give this movie a rating, then it's gonna be I think it's an eight out of ten. You know, I really enjoy the movie a lot, you know, so it is a great job as being funny, horror, and then uh the fight scene is great, you know. So there's that. It's really well shot in my opinion. Chris McKay again does a great job at directing the movie. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this review, then you know leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, the usual stuff, you know. Um stay tuned for more videos in the future and again. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye.